This story I found to be um, sort of the perfect metaphor for the right and for this uh, era. Um, Microcosm is the word. Yeah, I don't think I think it's I think it's metaphor. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess it's you could say it's also a microcosm in some way. Um, there was this guy Russell Bolton. As you can see here, he was a uh, writing candidate for sheriff in Stevens County, Washington. And he also was the head. Do we have a, a tear sheet from that uh, old uh, web oh, website? Yeah. Uh, he was also the, um, the leader of the Stevens County Assembly. What would that be? The Stevens County Assembly. Stevens, here, here's an old uh, website. This one's... Um, and it says, uh, welcome. The Stevens County Assembly is a volunteer independent body of God-fearing American citizens who have realized the changing conditions seeking to prepare and equip all who will heed with the knowledge and ability to protect family and property, to secure real American communities during the present insurgency, uh, insurgent political and social change, and to reach out across our regions to like-minded patriots in order to strengthen our common cause. So they are a prepper organization that believes wholeheartedly in run-on sentences. <laughs> and they also, um, they go on to say, to the, uh, our website is designed for the serious patriot who doesn't like commas and who wishes to rise above the conditions and increase their critical thinking skills, not so much their grammar. We invite you uh, to unite with us to uphold our United States Constitution and our God-given right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And uh, they were uh, very concerned, of course, of the, uh, about the hordes of, of, of immigrants coming in, particularly all the, uh, <laughs> the drug gangbangers <laughs> and drug cartels uh, that would come in. The drug <clears throat> gangbang car in cartel. It's in bad. In fact, in fact, this uh, group received a letter, not just a letter, but multiple letters from Alessio Don De Grande. <laughs> wait, well, that's a is, character. Wait, excuse me. Alessio Don De Grande. You're not talking about He's the, the prominent Sinaloa Don. The big, These poor local residents were getting a letter from him. He's the, the Don of the Big. <laughs> the and, Don of the Big. And uh, Alessio Don de Grande <laughs> referenced his membership in a shadowy criminal enterprise, and he demanded $250,000 in cash within 15 days. And he had left a two-paged typed missive on the car windshield of <laughs> members of this group, oh this right-wing uh, militia. Okay. Uh, they sent the several members of this group got several threatening letters from De Grande, whose name was signed at the bottom of each. Don't uh, get me in trouble with, uh, with YouTube. <laughs> He was involved, that he was heavily involved in a mysterious group outside of the, the United States and insu insinuated it was a Mexican cartel. Well, all prominent <laughs> okay. cartel heads are known for running multi-billion dollar trafficking networks and also uh, putting extortion threats on the uh, windshields of minivans. I sign every extortion threat. I promise to you. I sign every extortion threat. <laughs> well, it turns out <laughs> that the sender was actually the leader of the militia group. Oh, no. Was, yes, oh, yes. no honor amongst airhead fascists. Huh? James Russell Bolton uh, basically tried... Uh, upcoming TMBS guest. And here is the... Um, here is, the, of course, the uh, perfect metaphor. He scares the members of his prepper cult, as it were, into believing that um, there are hordes of, uh, of, of Mexican drug cartel uh, members coming up into Washington state yep. 
And they know we're the last line of defense. Exactly. That is some We're the rear guard. They're going to come back up through Canada after they come at us at a frontal assault. We got on the radar some bad hombres down there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so uh, Bolton uh, was trying to get money uh, from these rubes that he had, in many respects, created. Does that sound familiar to you, ladies wow. and gentlemen? You know what? I got to tell you, you look at people and you think, if if I wasn't doing what I would do, I would do what they do. And you say it in admiration. And if, my da- if I wasn't a trust fund baby and I wasn't president, that's what I'd do. Hey, we were a superpower. So, we are now a hyperpower. <laughs> Respect the hustle. That's what I say. Oh, are you kidding so me? Apparently, I love this guy. Apparently, um, Bolton... Uh, when detectives called uh, Bolton, the militia leader, uh, Bolton claimed he and his wife had been receiving menacing phone calls too. But he had, but he had shaken it off because it was common in his line of work. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> been at this a long time. Asked if, someone, asked if someone could be targeting the group for financial reasons, Bolton reportedly responded that the Stevens County Assembly had about 900 bucks in its bank account. The mystery was still unsolved in March when Bolton called the sheriff's office to say he'd started getting threatening emails. Um, He told uh, detectives that a red Ford pickup had followed him home and the passengers had yelled at him and run him off the road, which is a classic play by classic tactic of Mexican Mexican cartels. What you do is you drive a red Ford pickup truck to Washington State and then you drive this hombre off the road. It's unbelievable. This, Dang shit. Man, I say free him. I, I, if, by the way, if Donald Trump was truly respectful of his base, you know, we always talk about how he serves his base. I, I could not think of a literally a greater example of his base than this. This guy should get a full pardon. He should be Secretary of State. He He's facing five of, counts of extortion in the boo, first degree. And free one him. Count of uh, attempted theft in the first degree. Free total him. Witch hunt, total, total witch hunt. Total witch hunt. Total witch hunt. Um. <laughs> oh, just a funny story. What's that? This cartel grande is a witch. <laughs> what was the name of the? We gotta find. Remember the Alicio, name. Of, Alicio, uh, Alicio. Don del Grande. Don del Grande. Chalupa. Should we watch his candidacy? Uh, the third. For, uh, yeah, let's just look at. Uh, let's see how Russell Bolton did with his writing candidacy for uh, sheriff in Stevens County. Hello, my name is Russell Bolton. I'm running for Stevens County Sheriff. Welcome to our website. Hope you'll find this very useful as you uh, get more information about our program. We, we'd like to, you to take the time to sign up for a email and information that you can receive. We certainly thank you for visiting today. The right, I think, has finally found their AOC. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, no. Here's a Tostito siding on the ground. <laughs> They're coming, fellas. <laughs> if you don't immediately deposit it. I don't want to take scare. out a line of credit or we'll be killed by the Grande Cartel. I don't want to scare you guys, but there's some Taco Bell bags in the <laughs> dumpster outside. I love him so much. This guy's amazing. And you know what? He seems kind of good natured in, yeah. a, way, in a way. I like, imagine. Yeah. He should team up Not with so uh, No Bumps in the Road guy. It'd be unstoppable. 